All right, we are on. You're on. I'm gone. Hello, everybody. I'm I'm back to play Bento Blitz with you guys. Uh, I'm here from the studio in Hamburg, in Chess 34 studio. It's it's very warm inside. The lights are on. It's like a sauna here. The pressure so. is on too. The pressure is on. <laughs> no. So now Gusti is leaving the building. So I have simply no more excuses for to be distracted. So, okay, so let's start playing because I, it has been a while and I'm very eager to, to get started. So let's find some nice opponents just to start with. Remember, I'm just playing premium members only. And I like to play five minute blitz games. So, so okay. Graf von Palen. Are you there? Yes, he's there. All right, so he's playing d4 and knight f3. Probably wants to play some, well, surprisingly, he wants to, I expect him to play something like London system, bishop f4, but we are transposed to some Slav system. And he's taking a bit too quickly on, on d5. So now black should be doing fine here. If you have some questions, just shoot in the chat. I mean, I'm just, I'm have a, my right eye is looking at the chat at the same time. So actually I'm doing pretty well here. I have developed all my pieces. And now he's trying to become active by opening up the center because if he doesn't I will just castle and I have no problems but now he has the isolated pawn on d4 so I have this square d5 so So probably now he needs to take and I take with the bishop and he has to give rook e1 check. This is um, probably not a good decision because now he's open up the h file and I mean he has to pay attention to some king attack. Getting some last minute advice from Gusti, how to look better. <laughs> so, Might be too late. <laughs> too late. <laughs> the latest information, it's too late for me to look good. Okay, what we have here, he's attacking my B pawn, so I can just defend it. If bishop f4, I have bishop d6. I just want to control the situation if I have knight on d5 then I will be very good. So let me put my knight on d5 as promised. And my knight will return. Still his knight is also not so bad. Knight is hard to move. He could have some ideas of getting his pieces over to the king side. I have to be a little bit careful. Just a little bit. All right, so not much is going on here. Uh, 
Graaf von Palen. Okay, now he is trying to mate me on f7. But not so easy, my friend. Not so fast. Okay, I want to do want to exchange queens. Yeah, why not? Why not? Also could have played knight f6, but maybe it's even better. Yeah, I kind of expected this move. So that's because okay now he wants to play knight d7 and he wants to take this pawn. So let me just play rook a8. Actually I don't like this move but not that much at least. Because now he can try to harass me with. Okay. So he's going for rook to f3. Let me offer him a change of queens. Let's see how he will react to that. So I play the Slav and the same Slav, but Karakan is not really my 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 thing. I play I like to play Sicilians. Sicilians are good. And now, okay, I want to attack this d4 pawn. Yeah, okay, he's at attacking this pawn, but okay, I just play a6. I don't really care. Yeah, he should move his knight. Sooner or later, he needs to move the knight. But somehow he is refusing to do so and I think he's going to pay for that. So now I'm attacking both a2 and d4. If he plays a3, I go knight c2. This is just like a nice warming up game just to give me some confidence. Yes, Mr. Hernandez is offering me a nice welcome party back to the US. So they have some cozy cell for me. And this guy, probably he missed this little tactic. For people who don't know, I got um, deported from the US back in 2012. It's kind of a small misunderstanding, I guess, but um, in the US they can be quite strict. So our Graf von Palen is a piece down. And uh, let me try to fix it. I just want to fix it with pawn to a4, but well, okay, it's just hopeless anyway. Not much the guy can do here. Basically, no point of keep on playing here. 
All right, let's move to the next one. So yeah, I did, just did a video series about end games, all kind of different end games. In my opinion, uh, end games are extremely interesting part of a chess game. So so who is this? Edwin. Edwin from the Netherlands could be even a guy from my own club. Who knows? You never know. Probably playing my own club member. Ah, this is some boring theory, I have to say. So. Let's see how I'm going to win this because it's a bit of boring chess here. A lot of theory. He will castle. You you will get double double pawns. Pretty. He gets some activity instead. I play bishop f4, rook d1. We've all seen this. And then e4, e5. That's kind of the way they play it. Or maybe rook d1, e4 immediately. Yeah. It's not much you can do about it sometimes when you're black. Yeah, this is a lot of theory and it's a bit boring stuff. I should not have allowed him to get away with this kind of crap. But okay, I'm not here to keep on crying. I see already in the chat there's some begging going on. The professional beggars are already here. Okay, so keep on exchanging some pieces. And my opponent, he has his weak C pawns, and I believe that he has probably eno enough activity just to compensate for for that. But once he allows me to play, let's say, b6 and to uh, to develop bishop a6, then he's in serious trouble. So basically, white really has to show something now very quickly. Should be fine though, but... Okay, so what is this move? Rook b1. It doesn't really bother me. So okay, allows me to play b6. And once it allows me to play bishop a6 and then... I'm doing great. I think he should have taken and play. Queen e5, 
and now you'll see I'll have a firm grip on his position. Now I start really pressing against the C4 pawn. For a moment I thought he could take, take and play C5. But fortunately I can go BC and Queen from D6 is defending the Bishop. I have to pay a little bit of attention to that trick. I need to calculate a little bit. Yeah, I think I can do it. Because now bishop d6, queen d6. c5, bishop takes e2 and I'll in the end I'll win a pawn. Benny Bock is asking, or maybe some troll is asking me if there are some new Dutch GMs, but probably he is wants to provoke me in saying like that his BFF Lucas van Forrees, he finally made it to become a GM. Well, Lucas, congratulations. Now you're a colleague of Benny Bock. Yeah, Benny, you asked for it. And when Benny, Benny is asking for it, you have to give it to him. That's the rule. That's the rule, Benny. So, and this guy is provoking me to take the long diagonal. So, we can really say no to that. Benny Bock, you have something more to say or you lost your tongue? No, Benny is not my colleague. You should be happy that I consider you as my uh, colleague, but uh, this is as far as I'm, I want to go, Benny. Don't push me. Don't push me, Benny Lava. And this guy, okay, we're going to collect some pawns and he is still stuck with his miserable weak pawns. So, what does this guy want? He wants to play a5. Wow, wow. What a guy. So, I'm sorry. I'm first. Okay, you want to give me more pawns? Let's play rookie five. Very well played by Mr. Edwin. Okay, let me just play safe just to annoy this guy. And what's this move? Okay, I don't care. And I bring the king, take this guy, and take this guy, and take, okay, take this guy, who cares? Who cares? And now what, mister? What do you want? Okay, you're trying to be fast. Good for you. Good for you. Come to Papa. Yes. So, okay, this was Mr. Edwin. Who is next in line? We play five minute blitz. We also have to play some 
really big putzers. So who we have drunk duck. Is drunk duck there? If not, I'm going to take a, another challenger. Okay. Sorry, drunk duck. We're going to abort you and we're going to find somebody who wants to play. So. And let's see, okay, we're going to play some King's Indian. This is sort of, I think a sort of anti Grunfeld system, but I play like a, some kind of King's Indian attack or reverse or whatever you call it. I had one game in the Bundesliga where actually I managed to win very easily. And I simply mated the guy. Okay, he's going to do some business here. Let's see if we care or not. We could care. Okay, maybe he wants to play c5, yeah. Okay, good for him. So, the point is that if I play d5, he will play c6. Okay, we don't care. We let him do his job here and we just play for mates. We're going to just put all our pieces on the king side. And now this is kind of standard. It's kind of a little sacrifice, but it's not a real sacrifice because I'm going to take the material back with my next move. It's a well-known team in this type of positions. And my opponent apparently not aware of it. He could have taken it, but he didn't want to. Okay, so I take this guy. And the guy just continues like nothing happened. That's always very interesting. People who just are able to continue like nothing happened. Well, their house is on fire. Now it's kind of a critical situation for him because his rook is hanging. And also some pieces are moving towards his king. Yeah, so this is a really bad move. Rook to b1 because... It, I mean, he didn't have time to move the rook. He should have chase the knight away and now after queen h4 he, it's basically over because the double attack on h2 and f2 of course he just continues like nothing happened and okay i also continue like nothing has happened but i'm eating pawns Yeah, and the guy resigns. Excellent. We want more of these kind of guys. Who is this guy? Mick one, two, three, four. 
from Portugal. Maybe it's from, probably it's Miguel, but maybe it's our Miguel, who knows. I know a certain Miguel who just won a tournament in Andorra. This guy is playing with the Portuguese flag. Okay, now I'm going to play a little bit boring. It's the Catalan. Yeah, and I have one special line. It's a little bit boring if he knows exactly how to play, but Normal they play here knight c3. Ah, uh, sorry, queen takes c4. So I'll probably just move rook d1. My next tournament is actually next week. It's the Spanish League, and then there will be the Olympiad. Olympiad actually, and the captain of the Dutch national team is Jan Gustafsson himself. Of all people. After that, I'm running the Hogervain tournament where we have two matches. One is um, eight time Russian champion and also very known commentator Peter Switler against US champion Sam Shankland. And the other match is our own Jordan van Forays who doesn't want to improve against um, Vladimir Fedoseev, a very dangerous young Russian kid, if I may say so. So this move 97 is actually not uh, not correct. He should have taken on f3, bishop takes f3 and knight c6 trying to attack the d4 pawn and then I would have taken the knight on c6. So this is really putting him in some horrible spot. So I think it's almost like killing already. So let me think if I should play here e4. Okay, let me play e4. It looks really bad already for him. Yeah, he'll play d5. Okay, now I have to go for it. Try to kill the guy. Maybe somehow he can hang on, but it looks really dodgy what he's doing. All right, and now I have to think what I want. Exactly sure what I want, but I think I want this. I want to really to to take on d5 with a piece. Because all these pieces will be hanging soon. Especially now this knight on e4 is extremely loose. So he's taking here. But it looks so awful to me. Such an awful position. And now the knight is jumping. And the knight is jumping to c6. It must be tough to watch this. Maybe it was. Probably I could have. Maybe I could have taken on b5, a b5, rook a8, queen a8, and rook takes d7, knight takes d7, knight g5, with double attack. But okay, I mean, my position is simply killing. So, big boy, what do you want, big boy, eh? Miguel from Portugal. Rook c8. Oh, 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 come on. 
This is not chess. This is not chess. Okay, let me first take this guy. I think I should have taken before, like I said, this line. But okay. Still, he looks like he's in horrible shape. The main problem is now that his moves are kind of forced. That's what I actually don't like. He's in bad shape, but his, his, his moves are sort of forced. Especially this knight on c6 is like to keep him busy, tied up. Can't really complain about my position. But I must say the guy looks solid. Now this position is not so simple to crack. And now potentially my knight is hanging, which also I don't like. Okay, let's go fishing. He can take my knight, I will take his knight with my rook because I have the bishop here. Still, he's under serious pressure, but uh, maybe he can survive somehow. Rook c8, that looks like that shouldn't be good. That shouldn't be right. Okay, let me, no. I'm not going to take that bad bishop. Let me just play, okay, let me just play h4. Should hurry up a little bit. I had the feeling I should have killed this guy way before. Okay, I let him take this pawn. Maybe it's not such a great idea, but okay, I'm just playing now for attack. Just playing for attack. Okay, my opponent is also running out of time, but actually his position is, is pretty decent, to be honest. But okay, he's not going to make it uh, on the clock. Yeah, okay.
this was, uh, yeah, he defended some point actually quite well. But uh, okay, his position after opening really was very bad. But okay, let's continue. Who we have here? Galois from Italy. Actually, yeah, to be honest, in the final position I was lost, but uh, yeah, and I was also not sure if I, I was going to to make it uh, on the clock because he was playing actually quite fast and not playing so so much blitz these days. Yeah, I, 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 now I, I read that Mr. Gustafsson is very sad that I didn't get flagged. Yeah. It almost made his day. Almost. He has probably nothing better to do than see me getting flagged. And Richter Kurtel, look, do you like facing the Mora Gambit? Well, did you maybe read the book Mayhem in the Mora by Mark Esselman? It may give you a clue. I'm not here to flag people. I don't like really flagging people. It's um, That's not my kind of thing. Jan likes to flag people for some reason. I don't know why, but I guess it's some kind of online thing once you're part of this group, then you should flag people. I don't know. Jan as team captain, well, what, what I can say, well, I mean, we have to live with what we've got. I mean, in Dutch you have uh, this expression like uh, rowing with the stuff we have. So now I'm provoking this guy to take on g7 so I can play rook g8 and rook takes g2. At least the good thing if as Jan, as a captain, he's not going to fuck my brain, so and I think his main goal is actually to to prepare Jordan van Forest. Yeah, I don't know why Jan is very keen of flagging people, but um, but he always seems excited about it. Yeah, for some reason. But, uh, well, I'm not his shrink, so, I mean, uh, to go deep into his psychology, it's really, um, well, it's really going to cost you a lot of money. No, it's not the uh, expression ice skating with the skates you have, it's rowing is roeien met de riemen die je hebt that's the expression in dutch for your information jan boy okay the guy has now some ideas against g7 so i had need to play here f5 Yeah, I understand that uh, my last game was not really uh, that great, but but okay, it's uh, I got a little bit 
distracted by uh, by the banter. Okay, I have to be careful now because this guy might want to kill me on G7. And maybe it's already too late for me to to save myself. Okay, let me just. Yeah, it looks very scary, to be honest. Not sure I can really. Okay, I have to play. I have. I need to bring a rook to to the seven rank as soon as possible. Look, I heard Amsterdam is sheer bedlam at night. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Can you please? be more specific. All right, what's going on here now? Okay, first I have to get my rating up to some normal level. Because even Jan used to have 3000 until I started to play on his account. <laughs> Look, are you still a top 100? I think right now I'm like number 101 or 102 after my dismal performance in the Dutch Championships. So my opponent, he, I expect him to take with the pawn on c4, but so now he's opening up some files for me, because now I'm going to push c4 at some point. Ah, so this was his plan. Okay. First of all, I need to hurry up a little bit. Let me open up some files. Yes, that's uh, of course a good move. And I'm afraid I have nothing better than this. I missed something, I can see now, some lines with bishop a3 in the end, so, okay, let's hope for the best. Let's hope my opponent doesn't see it. So this is, I think, good news for me. At least I don't lose material. Okay, I need to play a little bit faster, otherwise Jan gets excited again. And we don't want to watch Jan getting excited. My opponent gives me a pawn, that's always nice. Thinking for like 20 seconds how to blunder a pawn. And we are back in business, as you can see. Fully back in business. We grab a pawn. We give check. Certainly we start to enjoy life again and check again. Okay, let's give one more check. All right, he resigns. Good. This was not a good game. But okay. As long as Jan does not see me getting flagged, I'm 
very happy. Who we have? Chesbra, you're there, my god. Welcome. Hello, Canada. How did the party go in Amsterdam? Okay, I need to play some more fishes before I start to play the tough guys. So Chesbra, Mr. Eric Hansen is asking me if I'm able to sleep since uh, Mr. Robin van Kampen became number two in the Netherlands. Well, what can I say? It's, it was... He... Not that he deserved it, but he's not a bad player. And actually, I, des I deserve some punishment. Okay, I made some shitty moves in the opening. So, it seems that... Eric Hansen has been fighting with Bada Hari in Amsterdam and uh, and he lives to tell the story. That's good. Nice Eric. I'm, you're all proud of me. I, I'm sorry, I'm proud of you. I never thought Eric was a tough customer, but maybe I have to be I should, should be more careful with this guy. Also, I was I read somewhere that Bada Hari has been fighting with Mr. Jeroen van der Berg. So I thought, well, the tumor director in Waikanze. Then I thought to myself, okay, maybe I shouldn't negotiate so hard with this guy in the future. So let's see what's happened in this game. So he allowed me to fix this B5 square, so it's a nice place where I can put my knight. But I'm wondering that if uh, chess bra is like a very does to look to me like a very uh, violent uh, kind of guy. So I don't think he probably he asked for the signature of Bada Hari, not just going to provoke him. If he would have provoked him, that would really have. Impress me. So now we have a situation of Robin van Kampen and uh, and Eric Hansen and Jan Gussel all number two of their countries. So Soon they will be holding hands. Hi. Yeah, I was waiting for him to take on d4. So now finally I can take with a, with a knight and try to get my knight to b5. Chesbra is saying he would only confront Bala Hari if Benny Bok would be his bodyguard. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be a bit too easy. Poor Benny Boy. We cannot blame everything on Benny Boy, but uh, of course the whole universe comes together. It comes to Benny Boy, but... He is not the one to blame for everything. Right, that's too much of 
bullshitting in this chat and um, not really too much focus on my game. Well, okay, the pawn was hanging on a4, so. So, poof poof. Okay, let's push the guy. Since he can't really attack my c3 pawn, but so I'm now going to push my king side. Michael. Miktal saying Lawrence plays a horrible tournament in the British Championship. It, so it means that it's the first time you see him playing badly or... Alright, so now the guy is opening up. Now I'm going to attack his center. Going to play rook doubling on the e file, and at some point I'm going to. I'm not sure if he can stand the pressure on e6. Rook to a2, covering f2 square. So stopping some ideas like e5. Yes, Lawrence, he kind of asked for my services to help him with the British Championship, but uh, luckily I said no. So now we can give the Queen for two rooks. So this is interesting moment of... So we have options. Okay, let's do it. I think the rooks are too strong. Hmm, that was not uh, very bright. All right, to the next one. Poo poo. We are playing, I have drawn against Anand. Well, same here. I have never been beaten Fishy Anand in the classical game at least. He's a tough opponent for me. And not only for me, I guess. Well, he's simply a great player, what what we can say, eh? Okay, so we have some kind of Sicilian, we have this, this structure, is a bit not very common. And okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to provoke this E4 pawn, probably is not going to bite. Because if e5 I will play knight e4. Okay, so he's going for it. Excellent. I'm happy to jump in. Of course, I think he's kind of overexposing here. So, Queen D2. Now 
not sure what he wants, but okay, let me just get my queen out. Not sure how he's going to develop himself, so. Yeah, actually this is a bit of an ugly move, but it's possible that he didn't see anything better than this. So we'll play bishop e2, I guess. And we're going to play aggressive. Bishop d3, okay, I might play. Oh, what is this? Castle and queenside. This is this comes really as a surprise to me. So now he's giving me targets. Can, I can play b5 or a5. a5, I'm a little bit afraid he's going to block me with a4. If I play b5, maybe he's going to play king b1. Still, I have the feeling that I should play a5. Because a4, although it stops me from pushing. Well, actually, I can still play b5, to be honest. Because of the pin. Yes, so now he plays a3, but this might be a little bit different situation. Now I play b5. I have to say it's a bit double-edged still, especially because I'm not developed here. So I have to be careful, that's that's one thing for sure. Okay, let me play queen b7. Yes, it's not easy, because d7 is also weak, and he's very centralized. Look, what's your opinion about the new captain Benny Bock is saying? I think Benny is just trying to provoke some nasty reactions, trying to create trouble as he always does. So actually today at lunch, me and Jan actually we discussed Benny Bock. So this was kind of very hard uh, discussion. And uh, because we had discussion who is better as a fifth man, Sergei Tiviakov, Erik van den Doel or Benny Bock? And there was no clear answer. I hope that um, That says enough. Yeah, so I had to play this move rook b8 in order to castle because now after queen takes d7, I had this queen takes b3 move. And now I, I like my position. My, my king is safe. And his king is weak, especially because of the b3 pawn weakness. Okay, I need to defend this d7 pawn. And what does he want? He wants to play rook c7. Okay. I 
I'm not going to stop him from doing that. Okay, I'm forced to play like this. I didn't want to change queens, but okay, I changed the queens, I put my rook on d5 and the only problem is he can attack me on the back rank and then it's going to be very sharp. But I think I'm doing fine. So he wants to exchange pieces, but I do it on my own condition. Now Jan Gustafsson is, is kind of accusing me of lying, but I would never dare to lie. Lying to poor Benny or to poor Gusti. Soon we get a situation where Jan will be proud of me. It's considered the, the flagging. We have draw his position, but um, maybe not so draw his anymore. But we're going to create counterplay. What would life be without counterplay? And soon Jan is going to be proud of me. Especially the last move, very strong move. Jan should be proud of me now. Whew. This was tough. Who is next? Okay. Schachmatist from Russia. Well, if you're wondering why I'm so fit, well, if you have to deal with guys like Benny Bock for too many years, I mean, you have to stay in shape because these guys, they they simply don't give you a break. Especially Benny Bock. He's one of the toughest guys around to deal with. So let me just think for a little bit, what is this, this crap? Maybe I should not have played Bishop A6, but Poof, poof. Okay, let's let's see what he's going to play after bishop b4, the most challenging move. If I don't get made it here, it's just a fight for the control of the light squares. I can see now that uh, Jan is proud of me. In fact, I told uh, Gusti today in, during our lunch break that I would have loved to see him dealing with Benny Bock. And uh, yeah, this was an interesting point of discussion. Because let's say our 
uh, former coach Vladimir Tukmakov. He was a bit passive regarding to, to Benny. So that's why I had to step in myself. Just like would, as Bada Hari would say, to give him some kind of a little correct correction of, um, I don't know how to say it in, in English in fact, but a little hit on the chin just to Okay, so what do we have here? Yeah, I should take with B pawn, of course. And I should try to block this guy. I cannot really say that I like my position that much, to be honest. Yeah, Jan said that he's always team Benny, but I said, yeah, but I like how you would deal with the guy, because that's not, uh, not so simple. I mean, dealing with TV is much more, uh, it's much easier than dealing with uh, complicated guys like Benny Bock. Eh? Chess Bra is asking me if you can expect more from Whaley offspring in the future. Well, in fact, my wife is due November 20, in case you didn't know. Probably you're not in the inner circle to be informed. It's here nice and warm in this, the sauna of chest 24. Gusti did a good job by putting on the heating. And I think I'm going to castle queenside at some point. So, but I simply I don't want to touch this d6 pawn or d7 pawn. So, I the only way to develop my knight is to put it on a6. So, okay, so he's going there. Fine, I'm going to castle queenside anyway. I just want to play like some sort of French. Put a king on b7, rook c8. Yeah, sorry Eric to tell you the news, yeah. I mean, I didn't want to hurt your feelings, but uh, well, you were asking for it. I also see, I saw Eric that you got fired from your Spanish team. I mean, I was hoping to see you next week, but... Unfortunately, no Mr. Eric Hansen with his lap dance brother at Robin van Kampen. So Eric, now your lap dance brother Robin is moving to Canada. It must feel like very comfortable for you eh, to have him so close nearby. All right, so let me focus a little bit on this game. I'm a bit worried here. I have to say, because he's going to play probably rook to f4. Anyway, I have to move the king from the diagonal, that's for sure. Mm 
Hmm. And I have to move faster, I think. But it's not an easy position to play, to be honest. I have to move the queen out, yeah. But he's going to play knight d2. I don't really like my position. Okay, we do some retreating. It's not perfect, but... Okay, he likes to change queens. That would make me very, very happy. Please make me happy. I change the queens. Yes, he's making me happy. Okay, he wants to change more pieces. Perfect. Perfect. That's my boy. Taking some miserable pawn, fine. Threatening nothing, even better. Say I'm making some shady moves myself. Okay, I'm just going to, to Gusti mode. And we're just going to flag the guy. Like, like good old Gusti would. Ah, he wants to give check there. And how are you going to stop the pawn, my friend? Okay, this was a tough game, but uh, finally we got there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who is next? Let's play some easy guys so we can focus also a little bit on the trash talk. Bouncy Aguila, I don't know where he is he from, no, I don't know. Yeah, the good thing that after dealing with Gusti is I'm not ashamed anymore of flagging. It's now, after I saw him flagging people without any conscience. So now it makes me feel actually much more comfortable of doing it myself. Although I have to admit, it's not what I like to stand for. I feel a little bit ashamed to do it, but after a while, shame disappears and And I already like my position very much. I'm kind of, all my pieces are extremely well placed. And actually, I don't know exactly what my opponent is doing here. Does he really want to take this guy? Okay, let me. I don't care. It's 
So Patsa sees check, he gives check here. So this is just one check and well, actually my king at some point will go to g7, feeling very comfortable there. First of all, I like to see how he's going to solve the problems here on g2. Okay, and we are going for, for the attack. I'm going to put some serious pressure on the guy now. Yes, now you see he wants to crawl back, trying to get to e4. Are we going to allow him this pleasure or not? Probably they don't have too much of a choice, I'm afraid. Question is, can I play g4 here? Uh, let's do it. Let's put him to the test. So is there anything going on in the chat? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. First of all, I have to take this guy. So the point is, if I go knight takes g2, he wants to play bishop e4, sort of trapping my knight. But what if I first play queen c6, he will have to play f3. Or I just take the pawn. Let me just take the pawn. I must say that I missed some small detail, but uh, the point is that after queen d2, I have queen d5 threatening mate on g2. And now he's just losing a piece. Yeah, he's making some moves, but um, it shouldn't really matter much here. To make some precise moves. I think I like to give check just to get his king in the long diagonal. Yeah, and he resigns immediately. So far, so good. Actually, I'm not really, I'm just accepting random challenges. I'm not really looking for anybody particular, unless it's Benny Bock or Jordan van Forest. That's hard to resist. Pop, pop. No, okay, anyway, whatever. Some Dutch guy. Very tricky. Could be cheating. So we have again a Catalan. What is this? B6. Yeah, I think. Maybe I've seen it, maybe not, I don't know. It looks a bit strange to me, this move. Maybe it's a mouse slip, who knows. Who will tell? Uh, 
Okay. What does this guy want, him? Eh? Okay, let's take this guy. can see in the chat some <coughs> last warnings have been issued that's always nice to see that the, the chat is heating up So what's the body count so far? I think, I, how many games did I draw today? One or two? So, so far it's going pretty well. Did some flagging and Goosey's proud of me doing some chest banging. So now this guy, <coughs> he actually allows me now to take on c7, which could actually prove to be fatal. So knight f6 has to be played, queen takes c7, he has to take with the bishop on e4. Well, this is getting also ugly. Yeah, this shouldn't help him much. This shouldn't help him. A lot of possibilities here, extremely tempting. But okay, it's, I have to Pay a little bit of attention to some tricks. Maybe the guy, guy is kind of lucky. Rook c1, rook c8, and then if queen f4 takes a knight d3. He could be lucky. Okay, okay, let's try this anyway. Let's have some fun at least. I haven't decided how I will take back on F1. Probably I'll take with the rook, but because I don't want him to play later knight c2 with tempo. And since I have a very strong bind here, I'm hoping that I can kind of cash in somehow. Still 
it's not completely clear to be honest. Yes, play rook c8. And probably I will take on a7, yes, play knight c2. Yeah, this is also possible. I thought this was probably not that great for him. Because now I can bring my knight. And he is kind of tied up. Not many active moves for Populut. Oh, this move looks very ugly to me. Let's check him on what's going on with this e6 pawn. Oi, oi, oi. This should hurt. Okay, knight is good on d6, that's for sure. Okay, then we just defend our material first. Not, let's not give him any hope. You see, I'm kind of really controlling the board. So probably he's playing for some cheapos. Okay, let me play for cheapos as well. I was expecting him to play f4 and then I would play queen c7. So what is this shit? What is this crap? Okay, the guy will get some checks and then it's over. It's over, my friend. Yes. Okay. It was not such a bad game. Okay. It's time to play some Potsers. Many Dutch guys. Okay, this is kind of fashion. I think it is some David Navarre invention. Even Goosty tells me it was a nice game. Can you imagine that? I should start to feel suspicious. So, this is like a, a nice center. Okay, we have equal material and I <laughs> have the pawns on e4 and d4. Could have been worse. Could have been worse.
Well, we don't mind to play an end game. But now the offer is off the table. Now we're just going to play for mate. Okay, we have many options now. I like this one the most. Hmm, he likes to give me a rook. Okay. Fine. I'll take it. All right, that was fast. Good. Next. I'm just taking, uh, I'm choosing my opponents randomly, so. I mean, whoever is pops up first. I happen to play too many Dutch guys for whatever reason. So they. David Lan, are you there? Otherwise, I'm going to accept some other somebody else's challenge. All right. I ah, just I was about to abort it, but okay, you made it. You made you made it. Just in time for some spanking. So we're going to play the pitch, the opening I used to play a lot when I was like thirteen, fourteen years old, and I kept on playing it till I reached twenty six hundred level, and then it became a bit unpleasant. Never seen this setup before, to be honest. So I'm curious what the guy is, has in mind. So now there's this standard sacrifice on e4, which kind of solves all my problems. You can take on f7, but that's not that so great. So I'll probably just play now bishop d3. Yeah, he's giving the bishop. That's kind of unexpected. You cannot take on e7 because the knight is hanging on e4. Okay, let's play a little bit tricky. I could just return or take on d4, but I just like to cause a little bit of trouble. So you cannot really take on e7, rook e8, and the pin over the e file is a bit too much. I agree with Giovanni that I should have my actually an uh, own show, not just a banter session, but uh, an own show would be actually serve me right. But well, it's not. Uh okay, let me just first make a move before I say something. I'm in for some fun. No, I'm not in. I didn't want to take on d4. I should have my own talk show. I actually suggest this idea to Jan that he should have his own talk show, but 
to have is to invite some guests over but um, yeah I mean it costs of course um, if you want to really have guests in the in the studio it will be kind of expensive but okay you can do it through Skype or whatever yeah But it would be good to have a show and you can discuss many topics which are relevant at this moment. So, okay, since the guy gave me the two bishops, now I'm kind of comfortable. I will play this end game, but I will. Now open up the position and my piece have nice squares. Yeah, this Bantam Marathon is kind of interesting, but um, it was a bit annoying every time when you wake up and then you realize that uh, our friend Lawrence Trent has dropped your rating by 200 points and then you st can start working all over again but i mean me and jan we could do a session of like where we each played like 12 hours in a row but it's going to be it's going to be tough, but it's doable. Okay, let me make some moves first. I don't know what, exactly what I'm planning to do here, but... Okay, this feels like right. This pawn should go to b6 to, to take the c5 square. Ben, Benny Box asking, how do you consider your chances at the medal for Olympiad? Benny, do you mean the personal medal or the team medal? And of course, Benny, you understand since now you left the team, the team is not the same anymore. It's not the same without you. We're going to miss you. Actually, I don't didn't mean that. Sorry for being so cruel to our friend Benny boy. But if your friend Lucas van Verrees would have played, our chances would have improved a lot. Personal 0%, yes Benny, but I'm not like you, I don't play for myself. Huh? Finally Benny realized it's a team event. Actually, in this game, I'm not doing so great, to be honest. Um, okay, not doing so badly either, but it could have been better. To make some good moves. And what about if we would have Lawrence Trent as a team captain? That also would have been great. But we have to deal with... Jan Gustafsson. It is what it is. Life is tough when you're there. Okay, so he wants to give me check there. Can't say I'm so happy about what's going on here. Playing like shit, to be honest. Okay, I will win this game in Gusti style, which is the 
famous flagging business. Okay, I'm not worse at least. So that at least should count for something. Oi, just me peace. Thank you for the peace, David. Asking Fiona for Benton. She has stamina. Hmm. I think you have more in intel on her than I do. But it's good that you are sharing this with us. Okay, who's next in line? The big bad wolf from Germany. Okay. You could also set up a trash talk session with me and Mr. Trendboy. That would have been a pleasure. Mr. Trendboy. I like to mock him, but uh, I, I kind of like him also. So it's not. I also like to mock. Don't Google the big bad wolf. Why not? I was with Fiona at the Ivan's Soklov's 50th birthday party in Zagreb. So, and because of that, she missed her flight. What is new? Big bad wolf, don't Google him. But he's playing fast, at least that's something. Okay, so the guy has the isolated pawn. But he has good pieces, so it's kind of balanced, but pretty sure that soon he will be kind of suffering. Okay, let's just give this bishop, let's have some fun. We play with the knights against the bishops. Yes, it's not easy, because of course I wanted to have knight to c4 and to play b5, but that's not going to be possible. Okay, I'm going to take this guy anyway. I must say I don't really like my position, but um, it can change. I want to ask Benny Boy if there's some kind of playoff right now going on in the Dutch Open. Yes, Trent Boy, he used to be a resident in Hamburg, but 
he he made his move to Berlin for whatever reason. I'm trying to put my pieces in awful places and sort of succeeding in this mission. Yeah, my position is really not great. Nothing to be excited about my position. <laughs> I'm really worried here that the big bad wolf is going to get me here. My position really stinks. Actually, I think probably the best move would have been a6, but okay. Uh, okay, at least now I have this b6 square for my knight. Yeah, I saw this move, but this was not the move which worries me at all. Because now I'm getting counterplay. And I'm confident I should be able to make a draw at least here. Now he has this move, rook takes g7, probably is forcing a draw. Oops. Ay ay ay, this is bad news for me. Yeah, now I'm lost. Oh boy, okay, let me just... It's just lost. Okay, let me give some checks. Uh, if you had played queen a2, probably I should have resigned. Well, this is, looks like resigns as well. Oh boy, can I pull off a goosty? Can I pull off a goosty? A very nasty goosty.
And yeah, that's it. I should have played queen b4, I think. Queen b4, and then it would have been a draw, but I was under pressure for a big part of the game, yeah. <laughs> Ruthless precision of the big bad wolf, yeah. I'm not going to make any more comments about this. But okay. First loss today, yeah, and the last loss. Poo -poo. Yeah, it's Finally, I'm paying the price for chatting with Benny Boy. Something always going to cost you. Immediate punishment. Oh, what is this poor guy doing? Structurally, he's already busted. Because now he has this incredible weak c4 pawn. So normally you would play bishop e6, but instead I actually like to fix this weakness first by playing c5. So uh, and this pawn is just it's going to be mine. Okay, let's go for this pawn. Let's go get him. Yeah, and uh, actually I have multiple ways of playing this. I think I will just retreat. I think he basically cannot really stop me from playing knight a5. The big bad wolf. Yeah, this move bishop a3 but it's not going to help you in the long run oh shit Jan is coming into the studio I don't know what he has in mind but okay let's I'm I'm ready I'm ready for Jan Very scary. It's like the big bad boss is coming in to tell me to tell me the truth. So young boy, what's up with you? Having fun? Well, <laughs> it's not. It's, it's, it's all right, yeah. I mean, it's better than to do it in German, yeah. No, you enjoyed the German show. Come on. Oh, I cut your head off. Good enough. Um, so I suppose still make some moves here. Um, still your show. Yeah. I, I just thought you looked so sad that I should come cheer you up, you know. Ah, that's all. That's, <laughs> that's, that's my job. Right? <laughs> to cheer me up, yeah. <laughs> that was the job description. When I talked to Jeroen Boss, he said, okay, you got to cheer up Luke. Yeah, like <laughs> he gets down on himself. Uh. Oh, I'm still wearing, people can't see me. Yeah? I'm still wearing these. 
yeah. these things. Yeah, I don't know why. They you look know. like uh, yeah. someone cut off, cut the cord. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very happy with them. Mm -hmm. So the guys immediately start to resign. Yeah. Nah, okay, now that I'm here, he understands. Further resistance is futile. Yes. Okay. Let's Vasily Smyslov. Yes, I, I actually I played in in real life. How did it go? Pretty well. I mean, he was not. Uh, it was in '97, and he was already aging. Yeah. Speaking of aging, if this guy doesn't make a move soon, like <laughs> yeah, we we'll all age dramatically. <laughs> yeah. So you won the game in '97. Yeah, actually, I played two games against him, and I won both. <laughs> yes, that's a uh... good job. Okay, I'm going to abort this game. So you know I like to torture you. Yeah. Now that you're tired, how do you feel about a little blindfold game? Okay. Yeah, you yeah, have yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but uh, you you promise you'll make my moves uh, faster than last time, yeah? Because I'll try, but yeah, that is of course the the problem with blindfold with uh, on the German show. Yeah. Should, and should, that five minutes is not a lot. Here's your blinders. Yes, and should, I, blinders. should, should I also do the, the trash talking? And the... No, I will. And that's beautiful. Yeah, I look good now, yeah? And better, I would say. Good, we could discuss. Mm, better, yeah? So you want a tough opponent or a mid-tough? Yeah, or, give, give, uh, me, give me something, yeah. I will give you a guy that is called, literally, Lorenz Trent. <laughs> yes, you, oh, it's not you, the real Lawrence you, Trent. You, oh no, you have <laughs> but, impersonators, or you just give? I know it could be him. It's eighteen twelve. Okay, <laughs> it should be him. You so you're white. D four. D five. C four. E six. Knight f three. Knight f six. Knight c three. C five. C D five. Knight takes d5. e4. Knight takes c3. bc. c takes d4. cd. Bishop b4 check. Bishop d2. Bishop takes d2. Queen takes. Castles. Rook c1. The guy knows his theory, yeah? Yeah, but now he's out of book. He only knew bishop c4. Yeah? I don't know, but he's he not he moving knew, instantly anymore. He only knew. Knight d7 played. Bishop c4. Should have played bishop d3, but okay, who cares? I care. Yeah, you care. I was quietly judging you. Yes, yeah, so, <laughs> so you got be confused as well. <laughs> but the guy is thinking now. Again, I made a. I tricked him, yeah, somehow. Out of his book. Yeah. I mix up the b6. Moves. Castle. Bishop b7. Rook e1. I'm assuming rook f1. Yeah. Rook c8. Mm hmm. Okay. Bishop d3. What to do? Knight f6. Queen e3. These guys are tough, yeah? This guy is extremely tough, Lorenz Trent. <laughs> yeah. He has a Polish flag, maybe he moved again. Is he, he's going Easter and Easter, yeah, Lawrence. Seems like it. At least we are ahead of the clock, yeah? Um, yeah, you have four minutes, he has 327. So maybe we can do a gusty then, eh? It's very tough to flag while playing blindfold because every move takes like 10 seconds until I told you, you told me, I executed it. So the clock is always a big problem. Queen e7. H3. Queen e7. Rook takes c1. Rook takes c1. Rook c8. Rook takes c8. Bishop takes c8.
E5. Knight D5. Queen E4. G6. Shit, you saw it. <laughs> okay, I had I had to gamble, eh? Yeah. Had to be done. H4. I know I have a lousy position, but... Uh... Bishop B7. Queen G4. Lorenz, feeling the heat? I should mention that it's 48 degrees Celsius in the studio and you're wearing this mug, so it's not exactly pleasant, I'm assuming. And you're sitting next to me. Okay, I've been sweating a little, but that's really not your biggest problem right now. No. Ooh, yeah, you can see this. <clears throat> what I can see? No, I was showing people my... Some sweat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Might be four. This should be one. Queen C7. Queen G5. Well, at least it's complicated, eh? It's too complicated for me and I can see the board. I'm not proud of my position, but maybe I can make a draw. I think you'll crush him. You're ahead on the clock. You have 257, he has 127. Ah, yes. We're going to flag him. That's the plan. Bishop takes f3. Gf. Queen to c4. Queen d8 check. King g7. Bishop e4. Queen c1 check. King g2. Knight takes a2. d5. Yeah, we're going to get him. You heard it here first. Lorenz Trent, knight c3. Queen of six check. King g8. d6. Knight takes e4. Uh, Fe. Queen f4. Queen f4. Queen mm -hmm. f4. He resigned. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. Good job, good yeah. comeback after mm -hmm. yeah, those <laughs> shady are, opening. Yeah, opening was not so great. Okay, let's I do I think it. you can take it off now. You want another one? Yeah, sure. Okay, you don't, you don't <laughs> yeah, want to yeah, see yeah. in between? <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't get me out of the zone. <laughs> okay, then let's play. Then let me play Benny Bock or some, something else. <laughs> 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 we will play against Bochev Chess Lab. Okay, very good. You're white again. Yes, D4. Lawrence Trent in the chat is saying Queen F4 was a mouse slip. Didn't look like a mouse slip. Where did you slip? To <laughs> anyway, D5 played. D4, D5 played. C4. 
C6. Knight F3. E6. Knight C3. Knight F6. Bishop G5. Bishop E7. E3. Knight BD7. Queen C2. D takes C4. Bishop takes C4. Short castles. Short. A5. Rook FD1. FD1, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Knight B6. Bishop D3. Knight bd5. A3. H6. Bishop h4. G5. Bishop G2, uh, G3. I like that move. What, Bishop G3? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you like it? I like G5. Okay. <laughs> Bit aggressive, yeah? Yeah. He's playing on both sides of the board. Mm -hmm. but pawns never move back. Unlike knights. Knight B6. E4. Knight h5. e5. Knight takes g3. hg. Knight d5. Knight e4. f5. ef. Knight takes f6. Queen e2. Knight takes e4. Queen takes e4. Yes, 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 yes. Some hope, yeah? Some hopes, yeah. Rook f5. g4. Queen d5. gf. Queen takes e4. Bishop takes. E takes f5. Bishop c2. Another typical rook up position. Mm -hmm. Bishop e6. Rook e1. King f7. Knight e5 check. King f6. Rook a d1. a4. f4. G takes f4. Gf. 
Not a legal move. Shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a little bit of a disappointment. Still a rook up, that's the good news. Yes. Um, bishop d3. Bishop b3. Rook d2. c5. Bishop c4. He takes d4. Knight d7 check. King g5. Rook takes e7. Bishop takes c4. Rook g7. King h4. Rook takes d4. I have to feel I'm closing in on this guy. Bishop e2. Rook takes f4 check. Bishop g4. Knight. No, I play. King H two I know what you have to Rook C eight G three check King H five Knight F six Nicely done. Let's checkmate. Yeah. Okay. Shall we free you? Yeah. Good job. How was the time situation? You were doing fine. You still had one and a half minutes and he was in trouble. Oh. Start playing more quickly. <clears throat> yes, so he had 53 seconds in the end. Mm hmm. All right, we can, oops, uh, scan the challengers list, because I know you want to play your friend Benny Bock, but I have a feeling he probably didn't challenge you. No. If he didn't, you want to choose one last opponent? Okay, yeah, you choose one for me. I choose for you, yeah? Yeah. This sounds like a Dutch guy, because I know you like. Okay. You're a big okay. man of the peak order, as we mm. say in Holland, yeah, yeah. right? So you want to put the Dutch guy okay. in that place, no? Good. Routertje. Routertje. Is this Danny the router or? Yes, it's it's him. You know him, yeah? Mm hmm. I'll he, sit here. He, he, hmm? <laughs> what? <laughs> he beat uh, Ivan Sokolov in the Dutch league. Wow. Yeah, so. You have to pay attention to this guy. Opletten, hè? Huh? Oplet, godverdomme. <laughs> Beetje kijken. Yes. What's this? Some <laughs> Catalan. I hate that. Yeah. Don't we all? Let's just grab the pawn and sit on it. I'll try to... Do you watch the movie Step Brothers? Uh, no. I do this job interview and the one guy sits... Just like this, yeah? Exactly. <laughs> 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 it's a very good movie. <laughs> Okay, at least I'm pawn up, eh? So Yeah, guy. yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> yeah, you too, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, but Rautertje, he's uh, like these modern Catalan guys, they don't care being a pawn down, yeah? They just go B3. Yeah, and yeah. It goes yeah. On. It's uh, very confusing to me. <laughs> no, it's not so confusing. Not a move the bishop on A8. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, what can you do? I could have taken place c6, but that's. Uh, 
I basically on some point I, <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping to play c5. But for now I'd like to just to develop and to castle. <laughs> it's good that you're uh, having fun. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? Yeah. You try to look from the right angle, yeah? You, are you practicing for, for, for the Olympiad? <laughs> 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 I get Oshara phone call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Guy wants. Can I just grab another pawn? Another juicy pawn for grabs. You want to take on d4? That's greedy, even for me. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's really, really great. Hmm. So why are you so scared? I don't. I don't understand. My mother used to ask me the same question. Mm -hmm. They're just other kids. They're not gonna kill you. No, give me my chest part. Yeah. <laughs> so, Rautatier, what do you think? He's thinking about checkmate the Spatzer, or is he thinking, oh no, I'm two pawns down against King Luke? Yeah, it's time to start crying, yeah. <laughs> <Can't> <laughs> yes. <work? laughs> Yeah, well, uh, let's say I'm already thinking about... Knight f4, yeah? No, no, I'm thinking <laughs> about queen a4, but... Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Just to bail out a little bit, but... Uh, it's Not really, no, if it takes, you still yeah. stuff up. Absolutely, two pawns sh should count for something, yeah? Rautertje. <laughs> what does Rautertje mean? Well, the, uh, one guy was... Uh, uh, who is a ruiter, like someone who is sitting on a horse. Ah, okay. Yeah. When a ruiter is like a small rider. Yeah, yeah. You got that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Like hapje. Hmm? Hapje, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually kind of happy. Two pawns up and it's... Knight on d5 is basically blocking a lot. Yeah. I was not sure that bishop f4 was the right move. Maybe you should play bishop b2, but okay. Wat heb ik gedaan, Routertje? Moet je een beetje piantjes eten? Kan je dan niets? Kun je dan helemaal niets, ja? Winnen dan niets, hè? Ik heb te werken op mijn Dutch before the Olympiad. Ja, je hebt te call people out, hè? For the team meeting. Oké, okay, jongens, heel slecht. <laughs> Morgen winnen, <laughs> alsjeblieft. Geen eten. <laughs> Jezus. Geen eten vanavond. <laughs> Geen eten. <laughs> Geen biertje. <laughs> Slapen nu. <laughs> yeah, I lost this game to this. Uh, what was this big bad wolf? Uh, don't Google him. What was it? Uh? No, it's a very funny music video that is slightly disturbing. And I do not recommend anybody to check it out because you might not sleep well. So mm -hmm. I warned you. I'll show it to you after the show. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Altitude resigns already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So the good news is you get a personalized video series recommendation <laughs> to watch The Catalan by Jan Gustafsson. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's homework. <laughs> Okay, that's it for today. I'm wrapping up your show, you like it? Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> this backstabbing or whatever. Mm. Thanks a lot, Luke. They're my pleasure. I think people really enjoyed it, especially the grandmasters in the chat we had. Yeah. One of your, your protégés, Benjamin Bock, is that a fair description? My former protege, now arch enemy Benny Bock. Okay. <laughs> you, well, you, you, mean, you mean this guy? <laughs> <laughs> right. Benjamin Bock, then the maybe the most metrosexual of all the chess grandmasters, Eric Hansen. Uh, you speak from own experience. I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, look at my hat, but I'm not. That, I'm not on his level. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, thanks to everybody playing, joining the show, joining the chat. Thanks, Luke. 
Yeah, we should do it more often. I mean, together, because it makes much more fun and easier to do it. Apart. I also like to see his suffering. So just as sitting yeah. in the other room, like <laughs> yeah. with a cold beverage, yeah. Yeah. typing nonsense on the chat, it's it's also great fun. Yeah. Well, I agree. But hey. sitting behind my back. <laughs> I'm a bit of a backstabber. I'm not sure if people told you. You, <laughs> you liked it. <laughs> All right. Luke has been here in Hamburg to record an end game series. It will now go into the mysterious depth of post production, but it will appear on Chess24 shortly. You should check it out. I learned a lot of it. And yeah, see you guys soon. Bye.